Now, in the last lecture, we have looked at how to measure recursive algorithms. By examining this function over there, we have found that the time complexity for this function is on. Now, in this lecture, we will look at a tricky recursive call, which calls itself twice. So here, we have a function which takes an integer as a parameter. In the first condition, we check if n is less or equal to 1, then we return 1. If n is greater than 1, then we call this function with n minus 1 twice and sum their return values. This function is similar to the function that we discussed in previous lecture, but the only difference here, this function here calls itself twice. Many people might think that if in case of previous function, the time complexity is on, where the function calls itself once. So here, calling itself twice can make time complexity on squared. This assumption is completely incorrect. Rather than making assumptions, let's derive the runtime by walking through the code. Suppose we call this function for n equals 4. When we run this function with f4, it will call f3 twice. Then f3, each f3 will call this f2s twice, which makes it 4. Then these f2s, each of them will call f1 twice. And this will make 8. So how many calls are there in this tree? You don't need to count them, but if you do, uh, you will get 15. So what does this number tell us? If you look at this tree over here, we see that the depth of 3 is 4. This is the first level, then second, third, and fourth. Which means that for our function, for fn, the depth will be n. In this tree, each node has two children. f4 has two children of f3, and each f3 has two children of f1, f2, and each f2 has two children of f1. So here in the level 0, we have only one node. Then we are continuing to level 1. Here we have two nodes, 1, 2. Then in the level 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. Then in the level 4, we have 8 nodes. Which means that we can express each level with the level to the power of 2. As you see in this table. So, if we sum up these levels, we will get 15, which is the number of calls we count over here. So, from math, we know that sum of powers of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1. But in our case, we are not going to till n. We are summing the powers till n minus 1 to the power of 2. So, in this case, our equation will be like this. And if we eliminate from here the constant, minus 1, we will get, we will get O n to the power of 2. So from, here we can, so from here, we can come to conclusion that when you have a recursive function that makes multiple calls, the runtime often will look like this, where the branches is the number of children in each node which is the number of times each recursive calls branch. So in our case, the function calls itself twice. So our branch equals to 2. So we have identified that the depth equals to parameter of function, in our case, which is n. This means that for n parameter, the time complexity is n to the power of 2. So in this lecture, I try to explain you three key a recursive call algorithm. Hopefully you understand everything. So in the next lecture, uh, we will look at interview questions that are asked by famous companies about Big O.